All right, it's been a while since uh, doing this, and uh, yeah, uh, damn, the music's probably gonna be a little low, but I guess it is what it is. Anyways, it's been a while since I've done one of these uh, things. As you all should know by now, ReZero is coming to Grand Cross uh, Tuesday, Monday night, technically, but you, you know what I mean, right? So. ReZero is coming with that. I figured we'd go over the characters, which I haven't done in a very long time. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. First off, I'm going to be kind of a... I don't know. You can skip ahead, I guess, if you want. But first off, I just want to explain that for the lack of uploads, I had a lot of stuff uploaded and kind of ready to scheduled, but uh, I ended up deleting them for reasons. So it was kind of a major setback. So I do actually kind of need to... Um, um, what's it called? I do actually kind of need to there. I'll turn the music off. Sorry if it hurt your ears or whatever. Anyways, so, yeah, I kind of need to record a bunch more and get videos uploaded and stuff. So I've kind of been working on that. IRL hasn't been happening. Or helping. Happening. IRL has been happening. Uh, so I haven't had any motivation recently to record or do anything. But I'm hoping... After uh, tomorrow, which tomorrow's my birthday, this should go up today because I don't have anything scheduled for today, but tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm hoping uh, after tomorrow that everything will kind of calm down and maybe I'll have some peace until then, which when it comes to my birthday or holidays at the end of the year, things get really bad. I'm just very unlucky and things happen. So yeah, I've been kind of dealing with that and going through all that nonsense. So yeah, I'm hoping that uh, hoping that Monday I can start streaming again because I bought a few games that I want to stream. They're going to be really cool and fun and I'm kind of excited. One's going to be a really long game that we're going to play. So yeah. But um, enough about that. I will do my best to upload a little more recent, a little more from here on out and yeah also uh dokkan vids i say this tomorrow because i recorded a pvp video and i kind of said this but dokkan vids will come back i just i need to waste my stones on a banner that i want to summon on before i like download uh dokkan on blue stacks so yeah because i don't want to lose my 200 stones so i'm waiting for a banner to summon on so as soon as the banner comes that i waste all my stones on I uh, will move Dokkan over and we'll do Dokkan videos and stuff, but I talk about that tomorrow. Anyways, so we're starting off with Beatrice here. Beatrice is the worst out of all of them. She's a lifesteal character. Flicks 180, uh, on one enemy life steals 40%, 60, 100. You know, you think, cool. It flicks despair, recovers, you know, percent, 50% of diminished HP, critical strikes. It flicks 350 on all enemies, which is kind of, uh, uh, life steals. 30%. She's all lifesteal. Her stats are kind of... They're alright, I guess. Right? She's got like 70% crit chance and 110 crit damage just for the lifesteal stuff. Her passive increases the hero's HP release stats by 5% for each unknown ally in battle. Recover HP of unknown allies by 6% of the amount of hero recovers when using skills. I mean, Beatrice is kind of whatever. If I'm to be honest, she ain't all that, I guess. Ram, Ram is the free unit that we're getting, which is good. So Ram, inflicts damage equal upon 200% on one enemy, cancel stances, and then stuns. So she has a stun card, cancel stances, uh, inflicts 250, stuns for two turns, which is really cool. Inflicts rupture, which is two times damage against buffed enemies, which could actually be really good against uh, assault melee teams. If you power them up and you're trying to kill and all that stuff, right? Um, and it's an AoE, so drolls, taunts, any, time, any kind of taunts won't be... Uh, 150, 250. Uh, inflicts 300% on all enemies. Decrease attack related stats. 30% for 3 turns, which is pretty cool. And then this increases unknown allies' base stats by 20%. So, the whole ReZero thing, their whole gimmick is that they're unknown and they buff each other. Which, if you know who else is unknown, maybe wink wink nudge nudge is a certain lolly. Merlin is unknown. So, yeah, these ki characters kind of go ha uh, hand in hand with uh, with uh, Merlin's team. 
out. So yeah. So Rem, you know, I can make a whole joke, skip her, and just be like, well, that's it, three characters. They did make a fourth one. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. She has Amplify 180, 270, 450. As you know, Amplify is pretty good. You know, Salmelee has an Amplify card. Red Escanor has an Amplify card. Salmelee has an Amplify card, right? Because it's his Dark Sword. Pretty sure. And then Rupture is. Uh, yeah, his. Anyway. Anyways. So she's got a. So that's pretty good. This is really good. Um, Dance of the Oni. 130 on all enemies decreases ultimate move damage by 20%, which is really good. Which. Um, so, you know, that's kind of great. Uh, decreases ultimate move gauge, restricts ultimate move effects for one turn. So, it will, you know. So, they don't get any bonus stuff on them, you know. And then for two turns. Inflict Shatter, which ignores resistance. Uh, damage equal to 420 on all enemies. 420, let's go. Um, her stats are pretty good, all that. Um, when the hero uses a skill or move skills to rank up. A skill and gain ultimate move gauge orb increase attack by five percent for three turns up to five times if there are five or more ultimate move gauge orbs recover 30 percent of max hp so yes so if you use a card if you fuse cards if you move them she gives herself attack so you could just fuse these cards together you know maybe make a level three and then just one shot somebody that is a merlin obviously so that's pretty good uh she's also red which is kind of you know the one is around, but you know, Salt Melee is more prevalent. Um, so yeah, so she's really good as well. And then it's time for the star of the ReZero Clamp, Amelia. Ironically, it's really good. She's got a freeze card. Um, at rank two, it actually damages, and then obviously, it's kind of the same of other freeze cards where, um, if it's removed by skills or ultimates, you know, 20% of remaining HP. Freeze for two turns, 40%. She's got this. Um, 120% on all enemies. Depletes one ult gaze, so she has an ult control as well. However, it's like Gother's thing. It's a dissolve, basically. So at the end of their turn, they'll lose it. Depletes two, and then depletes two for two turns. So that's a pretty decent, you know, 50% crit chance. But that crit damage is pretty good, so obviously, you know, you want to use attack crit on her. And you just gotta hope you're lucky, right? Inflict secret technique. So here's the thing about her. Is that Amelia is one of those units you kind of need the 6-6. Six, six. I mean, not really. At 1-6, she works just fine. But if you 6-6 six, six her, like, lost, like, if you, you know, technically should lost Vayne, in theory, whatever. Um, yeah, because she has Secret Technique, which is 20% additional damage per hero skill. So, yeah, she's basically lost Vayne and super effective and all that, which is really cool. And then this, when the hero receives two receives attacks from the same enemy two or more times during the enemy's turn, cleanse the debuffs of the allies, and freeze for two turns. So you know if someone's gonna go in for that one shot, uh, they can't really. Um. So yeah, so you know if they're trying to you know insta kill somebody with Escanor, right? Trying to use a level two and a level one, you know, sure they may kill or whatever. But, um, that Escanor is frozen for two turns, unless they have a, uh, you know, like a cleanse or whatever. So, ooh, yeah. And as you can see, she's actually pretty good for Red Extreme, I guess. You know, PvP ungeared really good, geared for PvP is also really good, so. Yeah, Emilia is the star of the ReZero Collab, and I am, I'm personally happy for the ReZero Collab. If you're gonna summon for the ReZero units, hey man, I wish you luck. I hope you pull all of them at least once. Well, not Ram, because Ram is free. But you know what I mean. I hope you get all of them. Um, me, I don't think I'm going to be lucky. I really hope I get Amelia, like, at least 3-6. I probably won't. You know, we saw my Stranger Things luck. That was woof. But I'm hoping this will be fine. Hopefully I can, you know... I'm not guaranteed going to 6-6 Amelia. I'm not going on those rotations and stuff. But keep in mind that... Uh, the ReZero banner will have, if you do a full rotation, if you use 600 gems, do the rotation, you will get 100 gems back. So, if you want to go ahead and go for the units just for collection purposes, may not be a bad idea. You kind of get, like, some back, you know, or whatever. But if you don't care about the ReZero units or don't care about the Merlin team and you're just going to skip them, hey, that's fine. You do you. It's, you know, 
you're playing the game, spend your gems however you want to. Like, you know, just don't complain if you use them and get shafted, and then you're like, well, I didn't know this unit was coming up. It's like, well, that's the risk you take, right? So, uh, that's about it. So, yeah, ReZero is coming pretty soon. All that lovely, wonderful stuff. And, yes, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you watch the whole video, five minutes or even a minute, it means the world to me. And, um, catch y'all next time.